Hi everyone. So I'm here in one of our labs today testing the Airtame Hub. So Airtame are a company that make uh, wireless presentation devices. So they have the little, a little Airtame device that you can put behind any screen and turn that screen into a, a screen that you can cast your content up to. You'll see up here on screen as well, I've just got a default splash screen on here, but you can customize this and add like digital signage features. You can put any amount of text or pictures and things like that that you want to have up on screen. What's interesting about the Airtame hub is that you can actually have USB peripherals connected to it. So you can see I've got the Logitech rally bar here connected. And what that means is when I connect, I can also cast meetings from my device. So I can cast Zoom meetings or Teams meetings, and then I'll get a WebRTC connection from the device into the meeting that I have cast into it. So we're going to give it a little test and just see how that works. So. Here you can see on my laptop, I've got, um, there's a normal Airtame, the basic model here, which is out in the corridor. So I can share screen or share window to that device if I wanted to. But here in the band lab, I can also join call. So if I select join call, what that will do is because I've already authenticated my calendar within the app, when I get connected, you'll see I've got my calendar here. So when the, Airtame Hub catches up, we'll see here on screen the, you can see the peripheral there, so you can see the camera feed coming through. And first I'm going to test a Teams meeting. So I'm going to select join call and what's going to happen is my device isn't going to join the call, but the, the unit itself is going to join the call. And when that wakes up, you can see that we've got the camera here in the room that's connected and you can see another room that I've got across the way. That's also connected. So I'm now connected to a Microsoft Teams call passing video and audio in both directions. What I can also do now is here on my app, I've got an option to, I can mute my microphone, I can turn my camera off. More importantly, I can share my screen. So I don't need, I'm not plugging any HDMI's in or anything like that. I would just select share screen and I choose whether I want to share my entire screen or a window. And when I start sharing, that's gonna be presented into the call and then participants on the other end of the call can also see that. So I'm going to stop that screen sharing and I'm going to disconnect and we're going to see after I've left the call how that Teams experience compares to connecting to a Zoom call instead. So if I go back and select join call again, we'll just give that a moment to get connected. And then I'm going to select to join my Zoom meeting. So I will just have to admit the room from the waiting area. So once we get connected, I should get a message on screen that tells me waiting to be admitted to the call. And then I'll just have to admit that. So it's, I can see now that Ben has entered the waiting room. You can see waiting to join the meeting. If I admit that, and within a couple of moments, there we go, that's coming through now. And the camera's off by default on this Zoom call, so I'll just turn the camera on. And then what we can see up on screen, so again, I've got another meeting room, a Zoom room that I've got connected to the call, and you can see my camera feed here going through to the call as well. So again, these are both WebRTC connections, but I've done a Teams call, and I've done a Zoom call without having to change or reconfigure any of the hardware in the room. I just log on to the app, select the call that I'm looking to join and get connected. If, if you have users that are using sort of bring your own device, bring your own meeting route systems at the moment, and you're looking for something that people can connect to wirelessly and they can do different protocols of calls, then this could be a good option to, to maybe have a look at. If you're interested in the Airtame Hub or any of the Airtame products, then please feel free to email info at iacmsolutions.com and someone will be in touch.